Hey everyone, it's Lainey and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so, so, so glad you decided to stop by. If you're returning to my channel, oh my goodness, thank you so much. It means the world to me. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are having the best day ever. So I kind of broke my low buy. Well, not exactly. I told myself I wasn't going to buy foundation really because I've got like 12 I need to use, but something caught my eye and I was just too curious to say no. The NYX Total Control Pro drop foundation so um you guys this one seems weird to me if you want to see my thoughts see me apply it then and just keep watching so the whole reason i picked this up actually was this little product right here this is our total control pro hue shifter comes in at 14 dollars. it is a new product it is totally a spin-off of the foundation but this is just supposed to help you color correct a foundation Something is not right with this. I don't know if I got a bad batch or what the deal is, but I, I don't know if you can see how watery it actually is. Like you can tell that is like totally thin, like water in there. And I'm like, okay, but I get it. It is supposed to be a very liquidy foundation with coverage. So I'm like, okay, this product, the shifter is just going to be liquidy, but it's going to do something, right? Let me just show you. This is the foundation I was trying to change. This is the Pretty Fresh Color Pop, Color Pop Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. It's not terribly dark for me, but it is just, you know, it's one of those that you just, you feel like you can see too much of a line on the neck. Let me add this on the back of my hand so you guys can see. It is so, it's like milk on the back of my hand. Literal milk. There's like no thickness, there's no real pigment in there. And I'm gonna mix it in with this foundation. It, it's, it's not lightening it, honestly. It is not lightening it. I feel like all it did was shear it out. To me, that is not a hue corrector. That is just a, my foundation is thicker than I'd like. Let me thin it out. I'm gonna put a fresh swatch next to it. So this is with the hue shifter, with that. This one comes across a little more dewy, a little thinner. Yes, thinner foundation products will kind of sheer out over the skin and blend in a little bit better than a thicker, fuller coverage foundation. But that is, that's not what, that's not what I want. I, I want it to lighten my foundation. So this one is an utter fail to me. If you've tried this, did I get a bad one? It, I just have a hard time believing someone tested this product at NYX and was like, that's perfect. It's doing exactly what we want. I think that one is a total fail. But did it get me curious about, okay, did I get a bad batch? Is the foundation the same? Is there coverage? I was like, okay. Now I have to go to Ulta and pick up the foundation version and just see what the heck is going on here. And for both the foundation and the hue shifter, I shook these things to death. Like, I thought when I first opened that hue shifter, I'm like, oh, I just didn't mix it up enough, right? No, no matter how much I shake it, no matter how much I mix it, it's just like a thin, it's like a skim milk consistency, and it does nothing in my opinion. This foundation, I'm shaking it real good again. I want to make sure that, I, you know, it's not me that I didn't just not mix it well enough. It has been shooketh to deatheth. Um, this foundation does come in at $14, just like the Hue Shifter. There are 30 shades. I picked up the shade Alabaster. I went with the Fair category because I'm still, again, kind of hoping that maybe I can mix this in with some of my deeper foundations and kind of make them a little bit lighter, a little bit more neutral versus more warm. Claims about this foundation, lightweight foundation with skin true coverage. That's obviously extremely popular right now. Gives skin a natural, healthy looking finish, minimizing the appearance of imperfections and keeping skin hydrated. That all sounds great. I love the idea of a very light wearing foundation, but I definitely want some coverage. It doesn't have to be full coverage. I like the idea of buildable coverage. I did prep the skin with my Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer. So this is where the skin is at. Let's apply it. 
I think I'm going to try to go in with my little complexion brush from Real Techniques. My mind went blank for a second. This one is very liquidy as well. But I can totally tell it is not that same full-on pure water consistency like the Hue Shifter. In the center of my brush, grab my, grab my handy dandy little mirror and let's see what this does. Oh, it's definitely light for me right now. But that's what I was going for. I will have to warm this one up with some bronzer. Okay. <laughs> It's very light coverage so far. Uh, it's definitely, I feel like it has sunk down into my brush so much that I'm not really getting much pigment here. I'm going to try dropping it on the face. I really don't like doing that because I have totally missed my face before and ruined shirts. So let's try it again. Okay. But that definitely works better. Don't apply it straight to the brush. It's just too liquidy and it just, the brush eats it basically. There is a pretty skin-like finish to that. I feel like though, the kind of coverage I like, which it doesn't even have to be full, full coverage, I could go through this bottle pretty quickly. As a mixer, I think it's actually going to work out really well. I like the sheerness. but it's not so sheer like the shifter. I think you could build this coverage up and make it cover, but the amount of product you'd have to use I think would be totally unrealistic and kind of defeats the purpose. So far though, I would give this a thumbs up compared to this ridiculousness that's happening over here. The funny thing is on camera, it looks paler than it does in person. So I'm wondering if it's one of those foundations that kind of almost has like the SPF effect where the light kind of flashes back because it is lighter than my skin, but in person it doesn't look crazy. On camera it looks pretty crazy. Now I definitely need to go in with some concealer because the struggle areas here, I've got some, I think it's called melasma, some dark spots from being pregnant, and I just got some dark under eyes from being pregnant. I truly, I mean I truly feel like I have nothing on my skin whatsoever. It's actually dried down really nicely. I feel like even with me at times leaning a bit more oily in the winter, I wouldn't necessarily need to set this. It has really dried down. It's not tacky at all. I will say for even how the brush ate up the product, there's not like a bunch of product sitting in there or staying in there. That's really interesting. Now I'm definitely going to need to warm up the face. I'm going to breeze through, I'm going to breeze through, I'm going to breeze, why can't I say that? Breeze through some products. Okay, so I totally went with the very kind of minimal look today because I feel like that is what this foundation is really meant for. I'm definitely kind of getting like Glossier vibes from this foundation, but less glowy. I feel like in a lot of the videos with the Glossier or Glossier inspired foundations, they are very, very glowy. They wouldn't work for my skin type and I feel like this Works for my skin type. It dried down really nicely. I still set it with the powder just to be safe. But I feel like this is one that would still work for dry skin, but going with a hydrating primer, maybe a glowy setting spray because this one is definitely not like a radiant or glowy foundation, but it is so skin-like. When I first applied it, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this, but then after I started playing with some products on top, I put a little glowy powder on there and went in with my other products to kind of shape the face, bring some life back into it, bring a little color back into it. I actually am really impressed with this foundation. 
it is extremely skin-like. If that is what your goal is with foundation, I feel like this is really worth giving a try, especially for $14. That's so affordable, and I seriously can't get over how skin-like my skin looks right now. Let me bring you in real close so you can see what I'm talking about. I wasn't kidding when I said close, you guys. My skin looks extremely skin-like. You can still see my pores, but I don't feel like it's accentuating them. You can still see my texture, but I don't feel like it's accentuating. I can't talk today. I'm real tongue-tied. Accentuating my texture. Now, I did use quite a bit of glowy powder over top, so if it is, it's honestly the powder. I'm very impressed. Like, it is so skin-like. Now, if you have, a, again, if you have a lot to cover, I wouldn't recommend this. It's not worth wasting your money on. You can still see like where I'm getting those dark spots from being pregnant, like they're still poking through, but it doesn't bother me. Like I'm not embarrassed by them. I'm like, whatever. Sometimes I put a little bit of brown eyeshadow on there and act like they're freckles, but I don't know. There's just something very pretty about how this sits on the skin. And I literally feel like I have nothing on my face at all. I didn't think I was gonna like this as much as I do. Is it my, my go-to favorite foundation I've ever used? No, but is it something that I feel like as I embark on this new mommyhood journey where I want something quick to throw on, just kind of even me out, it would work. I would definitely need to change the color just a little bit, but for my mix-in, I think it's gonna work really, really well. And I, I just like this foundation more than I thought I would. I, 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 I am pleasantly surprised. If you guys have used this foundation, let me know your thoughts down below. Or if you're thinking about giving it a try, I love hearing from you guys. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Join the Lash Fam. You will not regret it. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.